video, we will take you to discover what interesting agricultural regions we have in the world. Let's start the video now. Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today, we will learn how Americans produce tons of clean mushrooms every year. The United States produces more than 869 million tons of mushrooms annually, contributing $1.3 billion to the nation's economy. That's a huge number, isn't it? Won't let you wait any longer. Let's go together! Before producing tons of clay mushrooms, preparing mushroom compost is an extremely important stage. Fungi are very sensitive to the environment and soil. Therefore, mushroom farms attach great importance to compost production. Compost is usually mixed from water, wheat straw, seeds, and gypsum to minimize the viscosity of the compost. Add nitrogen from grains to provide soil microorganisms. Phase 1 Composting lasts from 6 to 14 days, depending on the source of the starting materials. In stage 2, the compost will be pasteurized to kill insects, nematodes, humphor fungi, and other pests that may be present in the compost. Also, stabilize the compost and remove ammonia that forms during stage 1 composting. Mushroom growers often do not use spores to grow mushrooms because their germination is unpredictable and difficult to control. Instead, mycelium is propagated vegetatively from germinated fungal spores, allows producers to grow fungi from cultural media. The mycelium that propagates vegetatively on different grains or jellies is named meiosis. Meal is made by sterilizing a mixture of millet combined with water and rye, wheat and other small grains. After the sterilized seeds had some additional mycelium, the seeds and mycelium were shaken three times four days apart for a 14-day period of active mycelium. In the United States, mushroom growers often use three main varieties of mushrooms, smooth caps, white hybrids, and brown mushrooms. Mushroom final after the compost has fully grown. With the mycelium, the next step in production is ready. In the mushroom culture room, the mushroom substrates is formed into long straight rows stacked on top of each other and from here, the environment is always wet, creating favorable conditions for the fungus to grow quickly. Mm -hmm. 
Mushroom spores grow incredibly fast. It's time to be harvested. Mushrooms are always monitored and checked daily. When the mushrooms start to be harvested in this mushroom culture room, they can be harvested by machine or by hand. With manual harvesting, farmers can sort the mushrooms by size, with large mushrooms being harvested first. Then they will use a machine to cut the bottom of the mushroom. The machine will run along the mushroom bed. Mushrooms after cutting are poured directly into the conveyor belt, put into the cleaning and packaging process. All after being harvested, the waste will be neatly deposed. After all being harvested, the waste will be neatly deposed. They are put on cars to be transported to farms as organic fertilizers. They are very good for plants. However, the time may be longer or shorter depending on the temperature, humidity, cultivar, and Martian harvesting stage. Most mushrooms are harvested in 35 to 42 days. Some mushroom farms harvest a crop in 60 days and it can last up to 150 days. The farmers will immediately carry out the cleaning work of the mushroom culture room rags to prepare for the next mushroom culture. So the American journey to discover how to produce tons of clean mushrooms each year has ended. Do you like mushrooms? Leave a comment in the comment section. Goodbye and see you again.